This tip is about using your remaining tanks to destroy your enemy's war factory or refinery factory. Literally by using ALT, selecting your few tanks that's remaining and pointing out using ALT. At the front of the factory, you see the place where I put my tanks? You put it there and literally just wait. You see the tanks, you're gonna stick to the factory. So when his tanks wanna attack your tanks, he's literally gonna damage your his factory and kill your tanks and your tanks even there's huge difference between his tanks and your tanks your tanks are gonna be more effective so this tip is about using your mcv and get out some units from it it's an old trick it's not working out on cnc app but you can use it on the original game app so i'm gonna show you it on the screen literally what are you gonna do you select on the mcv by selecting a team at first after this what are you gonna do you sell your factory and then you're pointing out on the ground to move it new units are gonna come out this tip is either you're not gonna use it in cnc2 what are you gonna do you literally sell your miners how attack your miners buy your tanks on anything and then repair it and when you're trying to repair it just sell it and you're gonna sell it. this tip is about using alt in your especially with megatron so what do you, what do you actually do you use a megatron and then you try to you know close up or capture one of these units and flying out so when it's flying you literally pointing out on that unit and use alt so what's happening that unit that you select and you, by using alt we're gonna go below that unit where it's gonna land so it's gonna land one on top of another it's very effective most of the time at the beginning of the game oh my god with miners even too oh my god it's very effective with miners oh my god this is op for yuri this tip is about using yuri prime so Yuri Prime, they have a lot of functionality. One of them is using your allies MCV to capture it and build if he is a Soviet or ally. So you can use his factory to build on it or you can change. You can change between that. So you're not only going to capture it forever. If you want, you can change different factories. So what is the most common way of using Yuri Prime? especially if you have an ally with you so you can donate for him an mcv how so literally what are you gonna do is capture his war factory and build an mcv and point make this war factory the main one where is the units when it come out so when the mcv come out you see now when the mcv the tip of the mcv start to move out you change out and capture in another factory so what's happening is so your mcv is going to change from yours to his so you're going to donate mcv for him for free if your ally is a soviet what are you trying to do is literally capture his you know his infantry factory so what are you trying to do is build a lot of conscript build a lot and using this double factory with your so you build a lot of units turn them to brutes and then you crush them it's really cheap to build each one of them because each one of them cost a hundred bucks and for yuri is cost 200 so it's literally a lot of cost difference you try to use this trick especially is very effective in team up this tip is the most op thing you ever think in your life it's an infinite money glitch that's what i say all the time what are you gonna do is literally if one of your allies is soviet literally capture his mcv and build until you get the last factory it will make all your tanks reduced by so much money so what are you trying to do is build an mcv because there is so huge discount between the original price of the mcv and the current amount of mcv price so you try to crush it and this infinite money loop will give you free money basically for nothing because the crush money if you crush an mcv on the original price you're not going to get any money but when it's discount you're going to earn a lot of money i'll put the math on the screen so you see how much you're going to benefit from this trick and i always suggest you to use an mcv because you can use whatever units you try to use you can use miners you can use can the cannon whatever you try to use but for me in my experience i saw the majority of the cases use an mcv it's much more better because the amount of money is going to give you a lot it's not easy to die you know because if a nuke for example is attacking your base and attacking this unit it's gonna gone so if you use mcv mcv will not gonna die easily so use an mcv most of the cases this tip with chronosphere 
and iron car. With chronosphere, there's multiple uses for it. So, for example, you can carry your unit and throw it in the water. You can carry your unit and put it on a hill and kill it. You can carry up your unit to the enemy enemy base and kill it. You can carry up your units and put it on top of another unit to kill them and deploy your units. This is the main function is using for chronosphere. You can spy your enemy only by one way by using IFV. So what are you trying to at the beginning? You make the spy go first inside the IFV, later using Z and pointing out to that factory that you want to spy it and chrono it by three blocks, you know, three blocks far away from that factory. So when when the spy come out, it's coming in a straight line or you try to spy it at the corner of the factory at the right corner or the left corner. So the spy is going to go out and spy the factory easily. I will do another video about it. I gotta show you it later. With IC, I saw it all the time when people they have IC their drones or without IC and they have two repair IFV. If the drone try to attack this IFV, they can all of them die. It's an infinite glitch, and believe me, all the drones are gonna gone just like that. You see it on the video. It's amazing. So this tip is about using your elite IFV in very OP way. The normal IFV is not effective. You see now from the video, it's not effective at all. The, even the, the first elite is not that useful. The third elite one is very, very strong. You know why? Because there is a glitch with it. We use infinite amount of bullet and kill every factory in front of it. So what are you trying to do? Pointing out that elite IFV to that factory and click left on your mouse and use an S on the keyboard. Keep using it so fast, so fast, and believe me, you see how much bullets gonna come out from that IFV and it's gonna destroy, oh my god, a lot of factories. And if you have one, always sneak on your enemy and use it. It's effective so much.